treatment for HHV-negative multicenter calcium disease can be one of four categories. Corticosteroids are often used, uh, B-cell depletion with a drug called rituximab, cytotoxic chemotherapy uh, with combinations that often include cytoxan, and finally, anti-IL-6 therapy. Um, the order that I went in is really um, the historical order. Um, corticosteroids were really the earliest options. Um, cytotoxic chemotherapy certainly came around at a later stage. Um, but as we've gotten into the age of monoclonal antibodies, um, rituximab is used more commonly. But anti-IL-6 therapy with siltuximab, which is the only FDA-approved therapy and EMA-approved therapy, is really the gold standard. Um, it's the only drug that has ever been tested in a randomized controlled trial um, to test the effectiveness against idiopathic or HHV-8 negative multicenter calcium disease. So a patient like this with a very classic MCD uh, scenario with um, uh, clear systemic inflammatory symptoms, um, with uh, a, a systemic um, cytokine storm like we're seeing, should respond very well to anti-IL-6 therapy. Um, so that, that would be the, the first choice. Unfortunately, um, two-thirds of patients with multicenter calcium disease will not respond to siltuximab, um, to anti-IL-6 therapy. So for those patients, um, after trying siltuximab, if that does not work, then uh, physicians should begin considering things like rituximab um, to target B cells and also cytotoxic chemotherapy, cytoxin etoposide, um, drugs that uh, can eliminate the activated immune cells. At the heart of idiopathic multicenter calcium disease is an activated immune system. Uh, we don't yet know which immune cell is driving the cytokine storm, um, but until that time, uh, we use cytotoxic chemotherapy and really treatment refractory patients, so that way we can um, eliminate all immune cells. Uh, but what I should also say is that patients that do respond to anti-IL-6 therapy will generally have a pretty, um, a pretty quick or brisk response. So the, the ones that will respond will usually begin to turn around um, pretty quickly after the first dose. Um, it's important to give it at least one to two doses before making a decision on continuing therapy, um, but it is generally a fairly quick uh, response.